This is Rushali from Rushalaj Process. Today I am here to explain you the basic concepts of abacus. What is abacus? How it helps students? That is already explained in one of my video. Even after learning abacus, how fast the students can solve sums? This demonstration is also given in one of our video. You can check the link in, given in the description box. So this video is to explain the basics of abacus. What is abacus? How actually the numbers are formed from the abacus? So these basics I am going to explain in this video. And how we can solve the simple sums on this abacus that also I am going to show you in this video. So here in our institute what we do? We provide training even for the parents. Yes, we conduct the training class even for the parents to explain these basics of abacus. The reason for this is when they take admission for abacus class, so when we give the homework, even the parents should know whether that child is solving the given homework properly or not. Because there are many simple rules which we have to take care while solving the sums of the abacus. Like how the child is holding the abacus, how he is holding the pencil, whether he is moving the beads properly or no. So all these things, it should be monitored by the parents. So even the parents, they should know the basics of abacus. So in our institute, we take care that we conduct the uh, abacus training even for the parents. So now let us move to the basics of abacus. Now let us see what is abacus. Abacus actually is one tool. One tool with the frame and beads are arranged in this frame in different rows. Here you can see two abacus. This is one big abacus with yellow beads and this is one small abacus with brown beads. So this big abacus is called as master abacus or teacher's abacus which teachers use to explain the concept to the students. And this small abacus is used by students. It is called as student abacus to solve the sums. So actually let us see what is abacus. This abacus as I told here the beads are arranged. Here you can see one rectangular frame. This frame is divided in two parts here. This is lower part. This is the upper part. In lower part, we can see four beads in each rod. And in upper part, we can see only single bead in each rod. Apart from these beads and rods, we can also see the white dots here. One, two, three, four, five. Five white dots we can see. So what are these dots? These dots represent the place value. This first center dot is nothing but our unit space. Yes, units place, single digit. Then this one, next place is tens place. This is hundreds place. So like that. And this part we use later in the higher levels for decimal sums. So we call it as the decimal part. So here, this is units place, tens place, hundreds place. Okay, now this place is clear. How the digits are formed? Okay, see, when we solve these sums of their backers, you should know how to form the numbers. So for that, how to place the bits, how to move the bits. When the bits touch this divider, the number is formed on the abacus. Now nothing is touching this divider. This means the value on the abacus is 0. Now this is unit space. In abacus, we always hold the pencil like this. Like this it is. Like this we can say. And we use only these two fingers to solve the to move the beads on this unit space. And we use only these two fingers to move the beads on the tens place. So right now I will show you the sums using only the fingers of my right hand. So here one bit is now touching this divider. So the value on the backers is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is clear. Now if now two bits are touching, so value is 2. 3 bits are touching, value is 3. Nothing is touching, it's 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Now next, the upper bit, the single bit, the value of that upper bit is 5. Yes, the value of this single bit is 5. Along with this 5, when 1 comes, it becomes 6. 2, 5 plus 2, it's 7. 5 and 3, 8. 5 and 4, 9. So, in this way, all our single digit numbers comes here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
line. In the same way, at resistance place, the value of this is 10, 20, 30, 40, and this single upper grade is 50. So this is 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So now here on these two rods, now if the beads are like this, the value is 99. Now if the bead is are like this, 32. Here 4 and here 4. This is 44. If here is 1 and here is something like this, 10 and 6, 16. So this is how the numbers are formed on the abacus. So once the student become perfect in this to form the numbers on the abacus, so we move to the further concepts like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, decimal addition, decimal multiplication, then uh, decimal division, uh, percentage, profit and loss, simple interest, square roots. So once the students know all these basics, one concept goes on adding in each level. So, this is how we start with the basics of abacus. Now, let us see few simple examples. Let us solve few simple examples on the abacus. Now, let us solve few simple sums on this abacus. Here, I have written four simple sums on the board. 2 plus 2. What we have to do here? 2 plus 2. Let's move two more bits. Now, what is the answer on this abacus? It's 4. So, answer is 4 here. Next, 1 plus 2. Let us make 0 first. Always, before solving the next sum, we have to clear the abacus. We have to make the value 0 on the abacus. So, what is our next sum? 1 plus 2. 1 and 2. Answer is 3. The next sum is 3 plus 1 minus 3. 3 plus 1 minus 3. We have to remove these 3 bits. Answer is 1. Now next is 5 plus 4 minus 6. Okay. 5. We know that this is 5 plus 4 minus 6. Now 6 means you know it is 5 and 1. So 5 and 1. So this is how we do less 6. We remove minus 6. Answer is 3. So, this is how we conduct the training even for the parents and explain them the basics of this abacus. So, even they can monitor their child properly while doing their homework. And personally, what is my opinion is, when the parents take admission for their child for abacus class, even they should know some basics of abacus. What their child is actually learning, what are its advantages, how it works and how to take the practice of abacus at home. So all this knowledge must be given even to the parents and I think that is the responsibility of each and every institute. So here my intention of this video is only to explain the basics of abacus. So we will come with many other videos with more information about the abacus regarding abacus. So for that you can subscribe the channel to get the regular updates and thank you so much for watching this video.